There's a lot of money at stake and people are going to do a lot of really not cool things to try and win that much money. You're going to find the character flaws in a lot of people here real quick. So, this season, they are making it awkward. They are, um, they've picked team captains, and it is no longer the 405 as a group, New Orleans as a group, Detroit as a group. This season, they've got their team captains, and the team captains get to pick people. They got five-man teams. They can, if you read the rules, it can get kind of dicey towards the end because they can, there's a reserve pool for the rest of the people that aren't on a team. Let's say you are the team captain and Ryan Martin is your leading points winner so far throughout the season and Kai Kelly is on your team as well and he's doing great and Dave is over here in the reserve pool. Kai pisses you off. You could throw Kai in the reserve pool, pull Dave and then lock him in the reserve pool for two weeks where he can't go race for nobody. He just kind of stuck there. So it puts a game strategy to the whole thing. I started out, I missed the first race because of not having parts. And so I started out not on a team. Um, Marillo picked me up. Birdman was having trouble with his engine, so Marillo picked me up. We had a, sorry, I got off on a fucking tangent. So, <clears throat> the team captains in the rules can drop you whenever they want to and pick anyone else up, right? So, they could use you to get them points clear up until the final. Now, you're racing for $200,000. The winning team of five gets $200,000. So. That's just shy of 50 grand a piece. So you can have your buddy over here on this other team and you can have a guy that you don't like that is winning races for you. And at the very last race for the 200 grand, you could technically throw him back in the pool and pull your buddy and put your buddy on the team. So your buddy gets the 50 grand and the guy that got you there got the ax. So I'm not saying any of the team captains would do that. I'm just saying that it is a possibility. The one thing that this is going to teach a lot of guys is not everybody was uh, into sports when they were kids. Not everybody has learned how to work as a team. The 405 group has mastered that skill. So now they've broke us up. Three of them are team captains. And one aspect that sucks, because that's the crew that I've been racing with doing this for the last 20 years. But it's like pro ball. You are going to have teams. You're not going to like the team in the beginning. I'll give you a prime example. It is no secret that Larry Larson and Jeff Lutz don't really get along. It's no secret. But if you put them two together on a team, one's probably not going to help the other any more than the other's going to help. But when you're racing for $200,000, if Larry was in the semifinals and Jeff was not, and Larry rubs the wall and slams the quarter panel into the tire and he's got 30 minutes to get all that shit beat out so that he can put his team in the $200,000 winning circle. I guarantee you they're going to learn how to set shit aside 
They're going to beat the quarter panel out together, and they're going to go back and they're going to win that money. They can go back to not liking each other next week, but they're going to learn how to be team players. Period. So it's not always easy to make a grown man or teach a grown man something about people or something about themselves. But <clears throat> we'll see what happens. It's going to get interesting. There's going to be disagreements. There's going to be people that don't like what's going on. But the reality is you're in here trying to race for 200 grand. Plain and simple. You're racing for $40,000 every weekend and you're trying to win a $100,000 championship for the winner of the grade eight deal and $200,000 as a team. There's a lot of money at stake and people are gonna do a lot of really not cool things to try and win that much money. You're gonna find the character flaws in a lot of people here real quick. We'll see what happens.